Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this transfer rumours update. There's been very little really to actually talk about that has been reported in reliable sources. So today I'm looking at the website footballwhispers.com which tells you a score out of five as to how likely this transfer is or how much people are talking about it to give you a little bit of an idea of what is likely. So I'm looking at the top five of those or so um, and giving you my thoughts on each of them. So the first one is Musa Sissoko from Tottenham. He's got a rating of three to come to Wolves. Now he would be an amazing sign, I think a big robust centre midfielder alongside Ruben Neves, but I do think that we need somebody a little bit more attacking minded in that role. But to be linked with a player like Sissoko, who although didn't play very well at Newcastle, showed for France and then for Tottenham that he's good enough for the Premier League. The next player is an old Wolves boy, uh, Bakary Sacco, who I think this is probably the least likely to happen. Uh, he's been at Crystal Palace now for three seasons and he's had limited time playing in the first team at Premier League level. So it's not as if we're signing somebody who has set the Premier League alight. He's We've seen that he's got potential uh, at Molyneux, but for me he's not a consistent performer and he's not somebody who's going to add or challenge the players that we've already got in that position enough to be able to improve the team. And the next two players are goalkeepers. We've got Jack Butland and Rui Patricio, who've got a 3.1 and a 3.2 score on this website. So they, again, it seems as if Nuno is desperate to improve the goalkeeping situation. I think what will probably happen is Will Norris will go out on loan and we'll see somebody else coming in to support and to challenge John Ruddy in that number one position. Now, Jack Butland is a very highly rated young goalkeeper. However, personally, I don't think he's perfect. That being said, if we were to sign him as a backup for John Ruddy, it would certainly challenge him because we've got a former England international and then a current England international in the two spots. But I think it's likely that Butland will go to Liverpool. Um, particularly after what happened on Saturday evening. Rui Patricio as well is an interesting one because apparently there's a, uh, an argument about contracts at Sporting at the moment with them not being protected because the changing room is broken into or something like that and the players are attacked. So that could be uh, one that's possible because of the that. But of course Patricio is going off to the World Cup with Portugal but he's regarded as one of the best goalkeepers in the world so that would be an amazing sign and a real statement of intent for Wolves if we were to sign him. Uh, and then the only forward that we've been tentatively linked with at the moment on this website is Abel Hernandez from Hull. Now he got injured back in August against Wolves uh, did his Achilles and was out for a long long time so he didn't play any football really last season. Uh, he did start scoring a few goals when he came back near the end and has shown again that he's got potential to play in the Premier League however I think for what Wolves need they need somebody who is fresh and is desperate to score and we've heard so many rumours about Andre Silva who is not actually mentioned on this website but it is has been reported by various media people not outlets that that there is a chance that um, Silva could be coming in. And the last one is a player that I would love to see playing for Wolves. I think he's, he'd be a, a luxury player, but his experience and his know-how uh, and his shirt sales would be tr tremendous. Uh, and that's Yaya Toure. He's got a rating of 3.5 on this website here. So the most likely of all these players to come according to this website, I think he'd be good for a couple of years. Now apparently he's come out in the press and said that whoever he plays for next, if he doesn't feel like he's playing as well as he should be, he will repay some of his wages. So, But to be honest, Wolves don't need to worry about wages or anything. They can afford a player like Yaya Toure now. And he would be magnificent, I think, to, to bring a player on like that in the last 10 minutes or so, just to shore things up in midfield and make sure that you get points on the board because that's what we're lacking a little bit with this team is experience in the middle of the park and you know we've got a good goalkeeper who's experienced but in other positions we lack a little bit of nous and particularly Premier League experience we haven't got much at all so I think it'd be an excellent signing albeit for one year maybe two but um, yeah I can see Yaya Torre coming in I would love to see him in a wolf shirt and I'd probably get Yaya on the back of my shirt next season so let me know what you thought of today's rumours. Sorry that it's been a little bit quiet recently, but there have been very, very little rumours to actually 
report to you. I have also been recording a podcast recently. Uh, I've done two episodes so far. I'm doing a third today and they'll be up weekly in the next couple of weeks. So look out for those as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this video to some of your Wolves friends. And I'll see you again when there is actually something to talk about. <laughs>